Philip Hergovich versus Mark Demori. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. Let's get into it. Let's start with the 2016 Olympic bronze medalist, Hergovich. 16 wins, no losses, 13 wins by way of knockout. I think this is Hergovich's time if he wants to make a name for himself. He's undefeated, and he's about to get a big payday this weekend. And I think his time is now. In these next couple of years, man, he's got to get into some of these bigger fights. Of course, he has to get past his countryman this weekend in Demora. Uh, but he's got to make a statement here, in my opinion, man. Like, has to. We know when he fought Zhang, uh, how close of a fight that was. A fight that, honestly, I thought Zhang won that fight. A fight that we saw him slow down a little bit towards the end of the fight. We saw his chin and power get tested. You know, Zhang has had a great few years. I mean, beating Joe Joyce twice by stoppage, man. That has made his name even bigger and really has made Philip Hergovich's resume a little bit better because Zhang is the biggest win on his resume today. We got to go off what the results say. Hergovich, we know, is a skilled heavyweight, man. You don't become an Olympic bronze medalist just because, you know, you don't become an Olympic bronze medalist if you don't have some type of skill and boxing ability to be able to to dominate that system like that, especially in the amateur level. So we know he's skilled. He's got very good boxing pedigree. He's got good power and he moves his feet well for a big man as well. He struggled from the southpaw stance against Zhang. In his most recent fight, he fought Dempsey McKean, who was another southpaw. And it took him a few rounds to kind of get going, man. I thought Hergovich was dictating the pace of the fight. He was pressuring McKean, but McKean did a great job of having something to fire back with. Whether it was a jab or a straight hand left, he wasn't just completely letting Hergovich impose his will on it. Hergovich landed good body shots, good overhand shots, looping shots. Um, the shots were landing more and more once he kind of figured out the movement and the pace of McKean. I thought McKean shifted his game plan a little bit and started to try and pressure Hergovich a little bit more and let his hands go. Started to really be a lot more physical and I thought the physicality was kind of tiring Hergovich out. Right When he was in close, he was trying to smother some of that work and limit some of the damage that was being sent back his way. Hergovich looked tired again to me, man, especially in that ninth round and beyond, which is a little bit worrisome because it seems to be a little bit of a consistent theme. But in the 12th round, Hergovich caught McKean with the right hand that landed cleanly on his chin and seemed like it took him out as he was standing on his feet as soon as connected and he was able to win that fight. But it was interesting because Hergovich, you know, he, he looked solid, right? But he just kind of just did enough to me, man. He was... It wasn't a spectacular performance. Uh, he didn't really look too excited for the fight to me. He didn't really get up for the fight, but he did get the win by stoppage. So I'm hoping that he gets up for this fight. I'm hoping that he can make a statement in this fight because I really think that he needs to. Let's talk about his opponent, Mark Demori. 41 wins, two losses, two draws, and 36 wins by way of knockout. Demori has been around for a while. Like, I'm talking back to 2004. In Australia was his was his first fight. What were you doing in 2004, man? Let me know what you were doing in 2004, but he's been around for a while, right? Shout out to everybody in Australia. You know I got love for you. Um, but it also says a lot about how he's been able to handle himself over the years. Like he's had a pretty solid career. I mean, 41 wins, regardless of who you face, that's 41 people that you have to beat. You only got two losses, two draws, man. I'd say he's had a pretty successful career, whatever that looks like for him. It's been pretty good. In his most recent fight, he fought Michael Sigalaki. Even though he won that fight, man, I thought his age showed, right? Uh, uh, Sigalaki was the bigger man didn't really seem like he was in all the best physical shape but he moves very well and he was landing some shots on Demori that I thought that Demori could have evaded I thought Demori is a good solid boxer right he's a good body puncher he likes to bring the pressure and he likes to make it a physical fight right he's not going to come in to outbox you he's not going to win that fight Hergovich but he can rough up Hergovich, man. Like he can make it very tough for him and uncomfortable for him if he can use some of those same similar tactics that McKean was using to just try to slow him up a little bit. But the question is, how many more fights does Demori have left in him? 
The last time he fought a top level heavyweight, he got stopped. It was David Hay in like 2014. And I didn't see enough in his recent fights to make me think that Hergovic should have too much problems in this fight. He can make it tough, yes, but at 41 years old, man, Demori's moving a little bit slower. Uh, he's still got good pop in his shots, but he's not moving his head off the line by no means. The footwork is slow. All right, so Hergovic should definitely be able to take advantage of that. And quite frankly, he needs to take advantage of that. So who wins? Again, Hergovic needs to stop Mori, Demori, and I think he does it within six rounds. I think he needs to. Demori's 41 years old, man. And again, his last fight, he looked very much like his age. So Hergovic has to take advantage of that and make a statement. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel. It will be greatly greatly appreciated shout out to everybody that continues to like comment share and subscribe to the channel man i appreciate each of you i don't always get to do all the suggested videos you guys suggest in the comment section below but if you become a member those suggested videos rise to the top and i will do my best to get those done for you that week shout out to everybody that continues to like comment share and subscribe to the channel i appreciate each of you so with all that being said i'll definitely see you next time